We now have statistics and know Cloudflare's turnstile is working to protect us from bots. What's up guys, in this video we will implement CAPTCHA technology for an additional layer of security. Per Authentics docs, we can use any of the ones listed here which include Google's reCAPTCHA, HCAPTCHA, and Cloudflare's turnstile, which is the one I'll be using here. But the setup process should be similar for all of them. Go ahead and click the respective link for more details. Now. Open up and log into your Cloudflare account. And click on Turnstile in the navigation pane on the left. Click Add Site and enter the name of your site. I'll just enter Authentic in my instance. Enter the domain or subdomain you want covered and choose a widget type. I feel manual would be the best type due to requiring a user to interact and actually click something if needed. However, to be more streamlined, choose any of the other choices and click Create. This has now generated our site key and secret key, which we will need in our stage setup within Authentic. Next, navigate to your Authentic instance and log in as administrator. Click on Admin Interface. Click and expand flows and stages. Click on Stages, click on Create, choose Capture Stage and click Next. Give your Capture Stage a name. I'll name mine Cloudflare Turnstile. Now let's get the public key by jumping back to our Cloudflare tab and copying the site key we generated and pasting it in the public key field. Then do the same for the private key, aka secret key. Now click and expand advanced settings. For the JS URL, we'll need to jump back to the Cloudflare tab and under the client side integration code, copy just what is between the double quotes. That's HTTPS up to and including the JS. Jump back to Authentic, clear the JS URL field, and paste what we just copied. Then do the same thing for the API URL, except this time, jump back to the detailed Cloudflare turnstile page and copy the URL by Cloudflare under the section Server-Side Integration. Jump back to Authentic, clear the API URL field, and paste what we just copied and click Finish. Now let's add this CAPTCHA stage to our main authentication flow. Click on Flows and click on your main authentication flow. Click on Stage Bindings and click on Bind Existing Stage. For Stage, select the CAPTCHA stage we just created. I want this stage immediately after my identification stage, so I will enter an order number of 15. And click Create. You can enter an order number before your identification stage, but I think this would cause many, many bot checks for no reason at all, just from simply navigating to the site. If we jump back to our Cloudflare tab and back out of the turnstile settings, you can see the statistics for visitor solve rate and API solve rate state insufficient data. As a turnstile CAPTCHA is invoked, this data will start to fill out. Now, let's test it out by opening a private incognito window and log into Authentic. After the identification stage, it takes a bit longer as it processes the turnstile CAPTCHA stage. You also notice now that there are two loading circles, presumably the CAPTCHA and the stage processing. Now that I'm logged in, let me jump back to the Cloudflare tab and refresh. We now have statistics and know Cloudflare's turnstile is working to protect us from bots. Please hit that like button if you found this helpful to help others find this video. Which capture method do you use? Leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to catch any other videos I upload. Thanks for watching.